Choose to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt ring. Right, the bouncer's guilt ring. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. This is Colin McGuigan for IFL TV. Delighted to be joined by Tyrone McKenna. We're at Card Frampton's Whiskey Launch. Yeah, yeah. Tyrone, you've turned yourself into a bit of a local celebrity these days. You know, a year ago you wouldn't have got this invite. I get the invite calls up the, the big important things. Um, but listen, that's not the big news this week. The big news is the big fate that was announced yesterday. Um, EV Lewis, headline SSE, um, and Buzzenford. Let's let's talk about that because it divides Belfast this fight. It's huge. I can't believe you've both taken it. Whenever this first got pitched to you, what was your initial thought? You know what? I know people probably go to ten rooms above Lewis and, and people are wondering why I took a fight and saying uh, it doesn't have for Tyrone's career, but I've said from the start of my career, I'm there for the people, I'm there for the fans. And I know for a fact as soon as Lewis Crocker's name was mentioned to me. The fans would fucking shit them, shit their pants, come in their pants, cream themselves. And I said, you know what? I'm a loyal man to the fans. I'm going to give the public what they want. And that's a loose cracker fate. And that's what I've given. You're both with Cotton and Boxing. It really divides the stable. Everything about this is just box office. Oh, this man. this fate, you, you obviously are disappointed not getting Esposito. Is the IBO title potentially going to be on the line? Potentially. Um, they're in, they're in talks at the minute for it, but uh, obviously me and Esposito was for the IBO. I don't know whether Crocker qualifies for it or, or what, um, so they're going back and forth now. Hopefully it is, I'd love it to be, um, but I do think if it doesn't be the IBO word hit all, it needs to be something big. There has to be something on the line for this to, to make it worthwhile, um, but I think it will. I mean, Crocker, he's 70, no, he's undefeated. Um, I fought some of the best people in the world, so there's, there will be a, a big hit all on the line. This is a real coming of age performance for Lewis, but also you, because you would rightfully say you're coming to the tail end of your career. You're only interested in big fights. You want to get another shot at a title. Is this kind of the passing of the guard, or, or is this you maybe maybe changing everything in terms of Lewis's career? This is me. Sick of Irish faders saying they'll beat me. Four people have said it. Four people didn't beat me. This is the fifth, and he's going to get slapped. It, I'm sick of people calling me out. I'm sick of people say, talking shit, trying to run down my name, swiping at the king. They're not going to defraud me, and this is just going to be another another night at the office, me winning easily. Listen, I work, I work cracks on the feet, and I slap cracks in the street. <laughs> what a line. Tyrone, I do need to ask you as well, obviously with, with Lewis coming from the other side of the community, does that add any kind of different side to this? I'm sure people will bring it in that. I don't bring it in, I'm not like that. And Lewis isn't like that. Um, we've never been like that. He's, he's actually trained in West Belfast all his amateur career and his pro career. So it's not that for us. I think it's a big enough fate that you don't have to say, ah, oh, it's partisan Catholic or anything like that or East, or East and West. I think it's big enough that you don't need to drag it down that low. But obviously people, being from West Belfast, being from East Belfast, are, are going to say about that. He is a Rangers fan, I am a Celtic fan, um, so that's going to be a bit of, bit of talk about. Um, do you know what? It builds a bit good. People are excited, people love getting back in their own, back in, back in where they're from and stuff, so there will be a lot of pressure on this fight from both sides that, that their man wants to win. And I don't think Lewis is right for the kind of pressure that's going to happen. I've been in massive fights. Pro Grape was a huge fight. Jack Carroll was a huge fight. O'Hara Davies was. But my biggest pressure fights, my most daunting fights, were people I was fighting from Ireland. The, the Sean Cray, the Jake Haney, and, and Otto Wappen. The M3 fights, the pressure on me was insane. And I felt it every single time. And I know what that feels like. I, I, get, I thrive under that kind of pressure. And I don't know if Lewis knows what that feels like. He doesn't even know what a big fight feels like. Never mind a big fight of this magnitude against someone from your own city. I guess other side of the city, it's fucking, it's, it's huge. And I don't think he's ready for it. 
whenever I look at it, I actually don't think that the other side of the community thing comes into it really, because I think we're past all that, and it'll actually add a, a different dimension and a good way to this fight. But Lewis is someone you're quite close with in terms of you'd be friendly with him. Does that make it harder for you? Doesn't make it harder, no. <laughs> not, not at all. Uh, makes it a bit weirder. Like I, I, like, I do like Lewis. I'm not going to be a dick and say hey, I fucking hate him. He's a dick. I like him. He's a nice person. He's always been nice to me. I like watching him. I like his stay. I like everything about him. But at the end of the day, I have to fight him and I'm going to punch ahead of him. I can't, I can't, uh, I have to for the next 10 weeks hate him. And that's what I'm going to do. He's my number one en enemy at the minute. Um, there's no room to like him. And on that fight night, I'm going to treat it as a, as a normal fight and I'm going to be trying to, trying to batter him. When I interviewed Regis Progre and his team, they actually said you were one of his toughest tests, believe it or not. Yes, he took you out of there, but he said you were one of his toughest tests to date. He didn't take me out of there. No one has ever took me out of there. That's an all right. I would say everyone said on the internet, oh, Lewis has too hard for him. Oh, Lewis is poor. Are you guys nuts? Have you watched my fights? Like, I've been in with Progre. Progre, there's no way in the world Lewis has harder than Progre. Jack Carroll, amazing, a ma massive hitter. O'Hara Davies, and there's others that are big hitters. None of them have done to me, none of them have stopped me from a punch. Yes, people have had me down, but no one's had me out, ever. The doctors stopped that fight with the pro great fight. I'd have continued on, gladly. I was never getting knocked out, I'm never going to get knocked out. And if he's only relying on his power, then he's in trouble. You've said to me before, you can really box, and I've seen you. I've actually watched you spar once, and I think it, you showed that you can box. But in the ring, you always get that red mist, and you just go all out war. Is this going to be an all out war between you and Lewis Crocker? Can he do an all out war? I don't know. Um, I'm bringing an all out war. That's exactly what I'm bringing. No, do you know what, actually? I don't even know. I have to sit down and talk to Pete. I could do anything, I could go in for a war and win. I could back, box in the back foot and win. I could back, box in the middle distance and win. I can, I can do anything, absolutely anything. I believe I'm better than him in every department. He might have the power over me, but every other department I believe I have. I have. Everyone's saying about us, oh, it's, it's a old, older, older man fighting the youth. I'm 33, fuck me, give me a break. I'm not that old. Um, I mean, there's people boxing at 38, 39, like, and, and they're still relevant to this day. So. 33 is not that old. Yes, I'm experienced, more experienced than him. I've been in a higher level than him. I've fought the bigger fights. I've had the harder fights. I've, I've been in the wars, I've been tried and tested. He's never been tested. This is his first live opponent. This is his first opponent that's going to come in and actually is there that 100% confident that he's going to win. I'm 100% confident that I'm winning. How does it go? Break it down for me. How does this fight end? <laughs> Uh, I, I'm not going to give out and became a fan. <laughs> Why did I hate that question? It's, I, the fans want to know, they're listening to this then. How does Tyrone feel like he's going to beat Lewis? What way is he going to end it? I know exactly what way it's going to go. But you just have to pay the money, get the tickets and watch it. <laughs> Tyrone, final one from me. I don't know if you watched my interviews with Eddie and Frank when I was in Orlando, but I pitched the idea of you versus Gary Coley. Old stable I mates. Old stable mates. You obviously have sparred a lot of rounds together. Is that a fight you would welcome if you do get through this Lewis Crocker fight? If I do get through it, I am getting I have to take a neutral neutral position. Listen, I'm a different weight class him. He's lightweight. I'm welterweight. Maybe in the past when I was 140, or if he was good on 40, maybe we can make it happen. But um I believe once I beat Lewis Crocker, I deserve a massive fight. I'm sick of Kind of getting told all oh, your fate in this guy, and then next time it's going to be a big fight. I want the big fight now. I'm ready for a big fight. I want to batter Lewis Crocker. Then I can move on and have a huge fight in Belfast. I can show that that a heck can headline the SSE. I think this this show is going to sell out. The response from the public is crazy, and uh, I think people are going to stand up and realize Tyrone can sell a stadium or a, an arena out, and um, we're going to get a big night here. Last one, Tell, look in this camera and tell the people all about your Whiskey and White podcast. It's so successful now with Tommy McCarthy. It's only going to get bigger. Everyone get on Whiskey and White. It's the best podcast in Ireland, basically. Um, After Brawl Boxing, but where can they find it? 
<laughs> it's on Spotify, it's on Apple, it's on uh, YouTube, it's on everything. Go on to my Instagram, it's on Instagram and TikTok as well. Flying on TikTok, so get on the TikTok and join. Uh, but it's going from strength to strength. There's going to be a lot of live show shows booked. Um, a lot of big guests coming on. Hopefully, Eddie Hearn, if you're watching, you're all, we want you on for the Kitty Taylor week. But uh, tune in. Also, check out Tyrone's OnlyFans. Yeah, OnlyFans, that's where I get my cock out. And it goes on it. Uh, as long as you pay good money, I do it. Tyrone, thank you very much, man. Let's do to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut, shut up, up Harry. Uh, must have been about 17, 16, 17. We need their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt rings. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day, 